Okay, testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. I get, uh, there you are, get a lot of comments about the review I did on this uh, Sadie's SA902, and uh, I've been using this Sadie's A6, and you commented that you I've been using this for a while, and you've been commenting that you uh, like it. But I keep getting the comments uh, about the review I did. Let me look up this one, Sadie's A6. So I can just do, um, go to orders. Uh, wait a minute, let's check and see where this is. Uh, track. No update on it. It's uh, today's. Uh, this is Tuesday, 9th of January, 2018. What am I looking for? Uh, orders. Okay, let me look at. Uh, A D E S. Uh, I'm looking for the A6. What is the A6? Yes, A. Six. Search orders. There it is. Open a new tab. Okay. Unavailable. So I don't know what I paid for it. Why is it unavailable? Hmm. Well, it's unavailable from this company. But uh, anyway, back to the. Oh no. I thought I opened that in a new tab. Okay. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay. So I wanted to, uh, I've hooked this up, and this is sort of a little sample to see what it sounds like now. I haven't, uh, I'm going to stop, listen to this audio, and then I may change the uh, audio. I could in, go in and try to change the audio now, but sometimes when I do something like that, I get messed up so I'm gonna just stop and uh, I'll be right back okay let's see that's not gonna work let's stop okay I am back I'm still using the 902 headset and I did listen to the audio. I didn't adjust the audio at all. Uh, if you follow my videos, you know I have bad hearing in both ears. And I have had since uh, second or third grade. Never had it treated. Never even saw a doctor about it. My parents didn't do it. But I can't blame them. When I became an adult, uh, I just never went to see a doctor about it. Just sort of forgot about it. But I don't know how you can forget about something like that. Uh, so I'm not really a good judge of audio. But uh, some of you have been for a long time following my videos and have commented about the different microphones that I've used and uh, headsets that I've reviewed. So I'll sort of leave it up to you. Uh, do you like the SA902? Or do you like the uh, Sadie's A6? Uh, and you guys are the expert because you can hear <laughs> well. 
uh, I actually think I like this better, the SA902. And the reason may be the wrong reason to like a microphone like this. I'm not, I'm not sure do you call it ambient noise, or, but uh, when I watched the first part of this video, when I was moving things around, I heard those noises. And I think when you're making, producing videos or making YouTube videos that you want to cut out all of those noises and you just want the audio that you want to go out. But I kind of like, like the videos I make, you know, you can see the stuff in the background. Uh, I really like, uh, and I have for years, I was doing videos before, doing streaming videos, live streaming videos before there was a uh, YouTube, long before there was a YouTube. And then when I did those streaming videos, and I, I uh, was doing a streaming video that was 24 hours a day. When I was sleeping, uh, the video was going out. I uh, generally like to have the camera back, as, <coughs> excuse me, far as I could, uh, far as I could have it, to show the entire room. Yeah, you know, well, in 2000, when I was uh, doing the 2000 census for the Census Bureau, uh, it was the uh, camera was going and video was going out as I was working at home, getting the uh, itinerary for the day, where I was going to go, and getting the uh, census forms ready, all that type of stuff. I So the audio was sort of, sort of the same way, although I wouldn't want to pick up my uh, family or anybody talking, you know, in the next room or whatever. But I, I don't mind if you hear a police car or a, we're right next to a almost right next to a fire station. Uh, I don't, I like those sounds. Uh, so, but let me know, uh, and I'll go by your judgment, because like I said, uh, my hearing situation, it's not that you have to talk loud to me. In fact, that's not, uh, the, the thing is more complicated than that. It's the tones that you, you hear or don't hear. Plus, I have uh, the condition that a lot of people have that there is no cure for, and that's that I hear the constant noise in my ears 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, to me, it's like crickets. And uh, there isn't any, if, if you're a young person or whatever, and if you're going to go into science or medicine or something. Well, of course, I'll be long gone. I'll be, this is January. I will be 78 in March. And there's nothing going to come along to uh, even hearing aids. I've got a friend who, uh, actually, he's right now, he went to the, arti the audiologist. That's not it. I uh, went to one of those places and they had his hearing examined, and uh, and he also has that same problem. Of his may not be crickets, but he hears it. Uh, and he's right now trying out. I'm, I'm not sure if he's on the first. They let you apparently this company uh, lets you uh, try out the uh, hearing aids, and he's. Uh, been wearing five thousand dollar hearing aids and then if he's wants to try out another pair of five you know that are a little bit different he can he can do that i can't afford uh, hearing you know i'm on social security and i'm on medicare but they don't uh if oh i remember yes I remember reviewing. This is the headset that uh, you can hear this rubbing on my shirt. 
So that might be that might be uh, a reason not to go with this headset. So not only is it picking up those sounds, it's picking up this sound, which is not maybe good. Let me know. Um, oh, if you're a young person and you're going into science or medicine or something rather, there would be a tremendous number of people that uh, if you could cure that problem, that medical condition of, of uh, constant 24 hours a day. I saw a documentary or something, maybe it was a video on YouTube, and the problem isn't in the hearing. It's uh, not a problem in your ear. It's actually, they've isolated it. It's a uh, problem in the brain. And uh, I can't remember. It was like over my head. Uh, but uh, so anyway, if you're going to go in to, be, to the people that if you came up with a cure for that or even something that would alleviate it a lot. Uh, you'd go down like uh, Jonas Salt to the person who found a cure for polio. You probably don't know what polio is, do you? Uh, I was alive when uh, the polio epidemics were happening. I was a kid, but I watched television and uh, saw them closing swimming pools and public places and uh, saw kids and, and adults in iron lungs but well, not in I saw, them on t I saw that on TV but uh, so now let's change the subject a little bit by the way with it with my hearing one of the problems everybody's hearing is, you know well not Everybody is different. There's not 300 million for the United States different hearing problems, but with mine all with my hearing also, uh, there's tone ranges that I and unfortunately I, I was an early adopter of anything electronic and anything you know I had the first Palm device and then the uh, Trio, which was a competitive company. I had their devices and just loved them. And, used them and carried them at work and like I know it was an earlier adopter because uh, people that I worked with and people that I had contact with what's what's that you have in your hand wow look at that and they call over you know they call over somebody else look look what this guy's got but uh, I couldn't hear the uh, beeps same with watches I had you know Casio watches and other watches uh, with little calculators on them one had a little pick that came out and I could push the keys kind of stupid but uh, the tones that those things put out not not in my hearing range and uh, two what was kind of bad and I didn't really let my employer uh, know about the fact but uh, I was working well like I worked hospital I worked as a welder for 10 years uh, had a couple little businesses or whatever. but then I worked hospital security for 30 years and I couldn't I had most you know most of I had a, there was a bunch of alarms I couldn't hear uh, a small hospital that I worked at and I was the only security officer on duty in fact we didn't even have security around the clock but uh, when I was on duty, the <clears throat> boiler would occasionally, they, in the beginning, they finally sort of got it, the plant ops guys got it, the problem solved. Well, when the hospital was built, when the fire alarm went off in the beginning, later they uh, came down with the volume. But when the fire alarm went off, I could hear that. Everybody could hear that. It was so loud you couldn't talk to somebody that was right, you know. It was deafening. I think the hospital got 
uh, an industrial fire, you know, fire system or the sound speakers or whatever. They finally toned it, but they had uh, a problem too in the beginning of the hospital where the boiler would go offline. And when the boiler went offline, no hot water and no heat. And uh, of course, there was no small hospital. There was no plant operations. There were very few people in the hospital. It was a small hospital. On the first floor, there was uh, two nurses, ER doctor, me. And then later we had a uh, lab tech all night and then and then later they had a uh, x-ray tech all night and that was about it and then of course there were some nurses on the second floor but uh, I would be down in the emergency room half the hospital away the the plant ops uh, when the you know the border would go off and then so they put an alarm so when the border went off it would sound down outside the door of plan ops and then I could go down and restart the boiler and every time I was able to restart the border if I border uh, boiler uh, and if I couldn't I could have called plan ops and they'd have been there pretty pretty quick uh, a guy would have come pretty quick to fix it but uh, anyway they put that alarm in I couldn't hear it I would be in the emergency room and then I'd see people, you know, kind of looking around, you know, the doctor, ER doctor, the nurse, you know. And then uh, finally, maybe the ER doctor or something would say, Jim, what's that alarm? And I'd say, alarm? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd head down. I would get almost all the way to the door leading where the alarm was leading to the plant ops before I would be able to hear that alarm because of the tonal range it was in and uh so when i applied for work if, if on the form if they you know do you have a medical condition and you know that if you hurt your back and that type of stuff or whatever i never put down that i had uh that i couldn't hear an alarm especially working as you know so Okay, changing the subject. I ordered a uh, ice maker. Our refrigerator doesn't, we, we renting an apartment. The re refrigerator does not have an ice maker. And I use, uh, by the way, in between that video that you just saw, the first part, I had a, uh, went and made myself a sandwich and some olives, I love olives, had a turkey sandwich, sliced turkey, and uh, some olives, but uh, we use a lot of ice, and I put it, which is good, because I don't drink water, I've never drank water, but I do put a lot of uh, ice in there, my <clears throat> grown son and my ex-wife are sharing this apartment, and because of expenses, they keep raising the uh, rent, the lease every year. It's going up $50 uh, in March. So we share the expense and uh, we all use ice. I use maybe more than my share. So we have ice cube trays that you've got, you know. So I've ordered this. I'm the idea is to uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work out because it at this price I think probably I'd have to spend four hundred dollars or whatever to get an ice maker that uh, makes the ice and keeps it frozen until you need it this makes the ice and the ice goes in the bucket and you know when the bucket is full or you know when you need to add water and you have to add water uh, but the ice starts to melt you know it's not refrigerated that would cost a lot more money probably and of course you know the refrigerator here is supplied we 
but uh, anyway, we're going to get it and we'll see how it works out. Uh, I don't think it's going to be. We'll see how it works out. I'll let you know. Um, might be kind of. Uh, but it's only a hundred and thirty dollars uh, and like I said I'm gonna be 87 uh, I can't take the money to the grave with me um, I I decided to uh, get this weather radio radio because it has a uh, crank on it and I'll review it so you can crank it and you can also charge although I have plenty of ways to charge up you know batteries but you can crank it and uh, of course it's an LED flashlight I don't need an SOS alarm but uh, it does AM FM and shortwave radio and then the I guess the WB is weather band does weather channel um, the short wave believe me I'm sure is not going to be any good at all but uh, that was I was a major player in short wave listening for years there's a book out that uh, about shortwave radio and shortwave listening and I'm in it uh, mentioned numerous times in the book so I do know about uh, shortwave radio I did a radio broadcast that was broadcast over shortwave radio to Europe Africa and Latin America two or three times a week depending on the uh, seasons because of the ionosphere changes and uh, propagation conditions and stuff like that so sometimes it was on twice a week, sometimes it was on three times a week. Um, so I do know about shortwave radio, so I'm not expecting much from the uh, shortwave radio part. I'm not going to ding it for uh, but uh, so I'll be I'll be letting you know what that's like. But I wanted to have it because even though I have uh, several radios here, even two ham radios that pick up weather also wanted to have it uh, I've always wanted to be fully equipped and ready for any kind of a disaster but I never have the money well I guess it depends on your priorities I do have I I could have had but when it comes to the little bit of money that I have uh, do I want to buy a fire extinguisher eh, I'd like to have a fire extinguisher do I want to buy one well, no, I'd rather buy uh, some computer stuff or whatever. Uh, you know, do I want to get uh, firewood in for the fireplace? Well, no, I'd rather spend that money. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Priorities, and my priorities, are, I'm sure, are wrong. I like electronics, and I like high-tech stuff. And always been into it before there was high-tech stuff. I had one of the first computers that you could buy uh, Radio Shack Model 1 computer I think I got it in 1978 when it came out I think that was the first year it came out and if you uh, I can't remember the names but you know Bill Gates and people like that if you see an interview with them about their early days and how they got their start they'll mention I think it was popular electronics they'll mention an issue you may go to a, like I went to uh, San Jose California for the computer museum out there and there'll be a uh, that magazine or the cover of the magazine that came out with a personal computer that you could build and these people will tell you those you know I'm not putting myself in the class with any of those people of course but the same thing happened to me that happened to them. They saw that magazine and they looked at the thing, but you had to build it. Now, I had been building, you know, electronic kits, but I knew better than to 
try to build the well the electronic kits I was building were Keith kits and uh, they came with the wires already cut and all, every part that you needed and detailed instructions on how to build things but they didn't have a well even if they'd had a computer I think that you could I don't think I would have uh, tried to put the, I put a radio signal signal generator together vacuum tube voltmeter uh, all sorts of all sorts of stuff but uh, so I've always been interested in this sort of stuff uh, but one of my failings is that I don't want to spend a lot of time learning how to do something I want to use computers I want to use stuff that it, if it's a computer it should do it I shouldn't have to peek or poke into memory I shouldn't have to uh, go into machine language or Fortran or basic although I had to write when I decided I wanted a computer bulletin board system I had to write my first BBS program in basic which was actually fun doing that but anyway I'm going to be getting this and I'll let you know about this and you probably have some other ideas for uh, if you have so leave uh, leave the information below I do read the all the comments that are left I try to answer most all of the uh, comments that are left wanted to mention something I've been let's see this is Amazon Amazon Associates I you'll see the link below in a lot of my videos and perhaps other places and if you click on that link and go there and you buy the the item I get a little commission and I mean a little commission uh, here you can see the payment history you can see too when uh, when I started uh, here we go back okay I started in 2009 uh, and now here's one okay thirteen dollars no twenty three dollars okay here's twenty four dollars this is a month you can see these other amounts yourself wow here's uh, no I thought that was fifty five five dollars thirty four dollars uh, so I'm going to do this okay at the end of this month I'm going to get thirty four dollars uh, I know of a and it showed up on the on the list uh, I know of a person who purchased a $550 computer and I got credit for it and I think it was like 25 or $30 and this is the month when the, it was a couple months ago or whatever uh, uh, and I think it's the same person yeah he purchased two two of these chairs and they're 216 218 dollars he purchased two of them for his family for Christmas or something and uh, so I don't think if, if you're doing YouTube video I definitely recommend if you're doing YouTube videos or whatever sure put a, you know sign up for the Amazon Associates program sure you know put a link so if somebody clicks you know that you get the but you're not going to uh, you're not going to get rich that's for sure because you can see I this month I will be getting third what was it thirty four dollars and that's the month that's the, the most I ever got in a month and there's some months where I, I didn't get anything so what else uh, 
think, where do I want to go here? I want to go to, let's see, let me shut that down. Let me go to, oh, this is, yeah. By the way, I do have this set up, and I have a link usually on the YouTube video. Uh, I put items on here that I think are really good deals. And if you purchase any of them, you will um, be helping me by giving me a little bit of more money to spend on computer stuff. So, uh, if you're one of the regulars who knows, who's been listening to this, let me know. And let me know if... If this is a deal killer for this uh, 902. Uh, thank you very much for watching.